Start another recording. Perfect. Oh, man. Let's go ahead and claim that star system for ourselves. We'll claim this star system for ourselves. All right. We've got the Great Game or Fortress Doctrine or get a new tradition tree. Uh, what do they both do again? Uh, the Great Game increases our damage against star bases, which is the like uh, fortresses and such you can put up uh, to build ships from and control trade. Or the Fortress Doctrine, which gives you plus two star base capacity and uh, minus 50% to upgrading them. Plus you get four more of them. I think we should start a new tradition. Okay. Uh, should we go with uh, adaptability, diplomacy, discovery, domination, prosperity, mercantile, harmony, expansion, or subterfuge? Uh, is there any that would... Uh, what's it? Same again. There was one I heard that I was interested in. Can't remember. Uh, no. Adaptability, diplomacy, discovery, domination, expansion, harmony, mercantile, prosperity, and subterfuge. So what does mercantile do? Uh, mercantile is the flourishing of our entrepreneurial classes paves the path to dwarf prosperity. We get extra uh, trade protection, more collection range, and when we finish the entire tree, we get plus 10% trade, and we get the access to join a trade league, a federation, should we choose to, or, and get an ascension perk, which you get if you finish any of the tradition trees. Mm. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Okay. We are going mercantile. Ooh. All right, this guy is going to go and look at uh, explore that anomaly because I want that planet really badly. Construction complete. All right, you are getting a shipyard, an anchorage, and a cruise crew quarters. There we go. Complete. Nope, it's you. And we're gonna set this as your home and enter the orbit. Perfect. All right, research that, and then once you're done with that, go. Oh, nope. I just wanted. Uh, oh, did they wait? Did they recapture that system? We have mastered Interesting. All right, ceramo metal. Let's get oh, destroyers. Thank you, please. <laughs> oh God. Uh, yeah. Let's upgrade you. Uh, we do need. We still need more food. Oh Lord. We are currently buying food. Uh, time to build some farms on one of these planets. All right. You'll upgrade afterwards, which is fine. And this rural world is just here to build up some housing. Oh, man. I will say to so this, Cook, you have given me a challenge that I never expected to have to face. Uh, this is interesting. This is either going to be the greatest empire or the worst. And we just got declared rivalry <laughs> with the Urzo uh, Star Authority, the military dictatorship that was fighting the uh, purifiers. Uh, well, at least, uh, maybe we won't have to deal with them too much, as they, you know, the whole, true. that small nation is now in between us. That is also true. Why does this show you not... Okay, that's weird. Uh, you can go and survey that system out there. We might be able to get a few more systems now. Alright, now we can build up our resources. Oof. Um... All right, Cook, would you like the, to find the ultimate weapon, or would you like to dissuade people from ever going near the ultimate weapon that caused our Find apocalypse? the ultimate weapon. Why did I ever doubt that? <laughs> Let's colonize this planet while we have the opportunity. Uh, you will also go ahead then and research that when you are done looking at the anomalies. All right, construction ship, get to work, get to work. We've met another empire, the Kingdom of Belm, an elective monarchy of uh, xenophobic fanat material. Why is everyone xenophobic around me? What the fuck? This game hates me today. Oh, God. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you want housing. We get it. No one cares about your housing problems. Situation log updated. We're in the middle of trying to survive as a great and magnificent empire. So you have to sleep on the dirt. We're trying to at least have a place to sleep. We want yep. our dirt. <laughs> yep, exactly. Oh, man. Let's get you to come all the way over here and build that. 
Okay. Uh, so we don't have many for alloys. We definitely need to get our alloy production way up. Construction complete. Actually, our consumer goods went way up. Damn. Okay, thank you. Let's also buy a thousand food just in case I need it. Uh, cool. We got... Good news, Cook! We have coil guns now. That was the ultimate weapon. Nice. Yep. And now we're investigating things about giant skeletons. By the way, is, did I leave Cameron on... Fuck, no, okay. I thought I left Cameron on server mute for a sec. He doesn't talk, but then I was like, wait, no, I know I unmuted him. Oh, man. Okay. Now that we're alive, let's uh, also re-become your patron, because we want that. We want that. Okay, really? It's got to be like that. There you go. All right. Now they like us more. We'll get more unity, which means we get more perks faster, which we want. Okay. Um. Wow, there's a lot of uh, new area to expand to. There's a black hole. Ooh, let's check that out. Okay. Let's upgrade you. And we'll upgrade you when you're done. Oh, man. We have a thousand influence, which is great, because we can't use it on anything other than claims at this point. Oh, uh, a holy tribunal. Oh, good. You know what? Wait, what? Why? Wait. You're linked to Robot Debris? Okay, I'm very confused on that one. What is Robot Debris? It's only level 2. Go excavate that, actually. Because something's up. Our ships have been upgraded. Oh, wait, no. You you keep exploring. I thought that was someone else. Here, go survey there. You uh, excavate the great fucking Robot Debris. Okay. Someone... Oh, yeah. All right. Our Perfect. I'm, like, so flustered now from this fight. <laughs> I'm, like, still trying to remember what I was doing. Okay. Um, we don't have our precinct house, so let's look up that. We already have people liking us, so we're good. Um, we can afford to get that, and then we'll save the last two for mineral purification plant and uh, the we have farming the one. Okay, more research. Yeah, get automatic surveying, because I'm so tired of uh, moving these ships around. Um, we can't do anything over there, so let's just go grab these systems real quick. Oh, man. Okay. Well, we got two more planets that are coming up, which is nice. Um, and once we learn about what these aliens are, you know, that'll be uh, its own thing. All right. We'll hopefully find the uh, newest alien species. Oh, good. All right, Cook. We've got uh, the t we've got the two traditional, the gr Great Game and Fortress Doctrine, or we can go into Mercantile uh, Traditions and get Trickle Up Economy, which is basically gets us more trade per cleric, which is more money, or we can do Adaptive Economic Policies, which gives us the ability to choose a new economic policy that uh, basically turns trade power into either money, consumer goods, or unity. Hmm. Let's finish up on yielding. Okay. We get our first ascension perk, finally! <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I've been waiting to do this. All right. <laughs> now, there are a lot of these. I'm going to let you know. There are ones that are very specifically good, but I'm not going to give you any help because this is more entertaining this way for me. Um, so, the only ones that are available are currently a Neolistic Acquisition, which basically lets us raid people. Uh, Interstellar Dominion, which gives us less star-based influence costs, which means we can kind of take more territory cheaper, uh, as well as claim costs. So if we have claims on other empires, it's, or we want to put a claim on another empire's territory, it's also cheaper. We have Technological Ascendancy, which means we basically have faster research and we have a better chance for rare technologies. Uh, One Vision, which gives us more unity, uh, less pop amenities needed, and more governing ethics attraction, which just means we get more people coming to our empire, which we are xenophobic, so that doesn't apply to us. Because um, no one's coming to an empire where they're going to be immediately enslaved. Um, mastery of Nature, which lets us clear uh, blockers quicker, uh, and gives us the Mastery of Nature, which basically allows us to give every planet two extra districts to build something in. Mm, somewhat useful. Uh, Imperial Prerogative, Empire Size from Planets is not nearly as, uh, or is cut in half, so, you know, you have so much admin to rule over your empire. 
Executive figure, which gives you more edict fund, which edicts are basically my, uh, bon passive bonuses you can uh, invest into with uh, your resources to give you other bonuses. Transcendent learning, which gives you plus two level cap to all leaders and an extra 50% uh, leader experience gain. And shared destiny, which basically makes it so we have more envoys to talk to more people uh, or spy on more people. Uh, we can integrate uh, quicker and for less cost, as well as they are subjects like us more. Technology. Thank you for the love of God. Okay, he's learning <laughs> already. For those who don't know, that's the only good one out of that bunch. The rest suck unless you're playing the new Overlord, which shared destiny may be better at that point. But I do not know on that one. Oh, man. Oh, so nice. We're going to get better research. We might be able to get our empire size back down. <laughs> oh, gods. All right. We've got new planets coming up. Let's pop you an upgrade. We're going to pop an upgrade over here. That's four. Let's get... I think that's actually our only border, so we don't need to really worry about anything else. Okay, so we got a new planet! Woohoo! And a cartel have showed up. Great. Um, another mining planet. Not bad. There we go. We'll bump up our, our minerals even more. More people dislike us and don't want to have open borders with us. Uh, sure, go survey that system, mate. Uh, someone's been hacking us, as per usual. We met another... We keep meeting on a lot of aliens today. We have met so many. Can I not? Oh, nope, that survey... I cannot. Oh, I cannot. Oh, because that guy's disappeared. Oh, good! We have uh, this new group, the Direct Democracy, the Carabiner Council... Who are explorers and erudites? They are materials, phonetic materialists, and egalitarians are right on our border, and now uh, are blocking a good chunk of the um, uh, xenophobe or the uh, the uh, purifiers that we fought earlier. So that's always nice. Well, I wonder who might be the next one on the chopping block when we get there. Yeah, I was gonna say, let me let me build first. <laughs> Please, for the love of God, let me build up first. <laughs> Let's get that. There we go. So we'll have two of those. Uh, we don't need the influence, so we're good. We're just going to continue to fill in our borders a little bit here and get them set up. All right, you're done with that, so build there. Okay, so now we can actually start investing in our fleet a little bit more, which is nice. We still need food, though. Which one of you fuckers is my food planet now? And we'll get more consumer goods. Um, Situation we'll eventually down. shut that down one day. Uh, a rational consensus group. Nice. We found more empires. They're going to keep popping up. Soon you'll get to see what all the empires look like when we decide whether or not we're going to join the world government. Uh, or the galactic government, rather. Mm. All right, we got Imperial Site done. Oh, good, we got Xenobiology. Great. Alien scum. Yep, basically. Uh, but it's a free tech, so you know what? Can't, it's not too upsetting. Uh, what is this one? This is... Oh, this is the robot debris. Yeah, go excavate that, because we want to see if we can get that sword. Oh, that'd be so we nice. A new world for our people. Yes, more planets... We need more minerals, though, <laughs> before we get more planets. Oh, man. Construction Food is going to be the worst of the worst for us. Oh, lordy. All right. New Cassis Belli. Someone's setting up... Complete. Wait. Who set up a uh, branch in our capital? Oh, fuck you. The cart... Oh, where the fuck are you? Where are you, mate? Uh-uh. Oh, you're all the way over there. How did you get enough influence to be here? God damn it. Well, it's time to fucking build up more precincts. We have to literally get rid of these assholes as time goes on. Oh, fuck you. What do you. Wait, what is he building? Smuggler's Post, which is gonna probably give him some more crime. Oh, good. Oh, we got declared rivalry by the lock in mechanic. Me mechanists. Everyone wants to be your rival, Cook. 
you know? They're they're just mad because they're not strong. Yeah, that's that's truly the case. Uh, except we're not the strongest empire in the galaxy <laughs> right now. Uh, we're about equivalent to the uh, Xenoph... Actually, we could kill the Mitrans. They don't have any fleet uh, at all that I can see. I mean, so, something to think about. Uh, but I'm guessing their capital planet probably has more uh, troops than we have currently. Alright, let's start researching all these anomalies because we have nothing to lose. And it gives us free uh, stuff. Alright, automatic exploration, thank you. Moat harvesting. Do we even have moats? I don't think we have moats, so let's get more science. Okay. So our fleet is slowly rebuilding. Uh, nope, we do not need to donate to you. We found a robot battle. And, uh, let's get... Do you want fusion missiles or space torpedoes? Fusion missiles. Really? Interesting. I would have figured with the pirate theme thing you like. <laughs> Alright, that works for me. Either way it works, because both of them are just uh, about the same amount of damage, so... Oh, we can now get fi up to 50 ships. We got destroyers. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. We still need like 4,000 fucking alloys to reinforce our fleet completely, but that's fine. <laughs> we will one day get there. Actually, in fact, uh, so you're building consumer goods. Situation log okay. You know what? Uh, Alright. Get rid of the hallucinogens, please. We will waste. We won't get the space torpedoes nearly as fast. It's time to stop the hallucinogenics. People are complaining now, apparently. Uh, let's pop hollow theaters here. All right, Cook. We can finish out supremacy, or we can go down one of the two mercantile perks. Let's just finish off supremacy to get another point. There we go. All right. So for what's available. We have basically enigmatic engineering, which gives us a plus two to our encryption, which also means it's hard, it's easier for us to, or it's harder for enemy operatives to steal technology from us, and they cannot get any of our technology from our debris. Uh, very useful against players. Uh, pretty much everything else has been the same. We've got the rating, we've got the less starbase cost, more starbases, uh, more more unity, um, more clear blockers, more imperial or more uh, empire size. Uh, more edict fund, better uh, leaders, or we get uh, vassals. Uh, better leaders. Okay, so transcendent learning, not a bad one, you know, to get early game especially because if you can get your leaders leveled up enough, it's great. We, we got gray goo. Did we seriously? <laughs> All right, well, so building on our planets is now cheaper. That was a lucky draw. Uh, alright. Well, we've got alloys like no other, so time to build an alloy factory here. Yes, all the alloys. All of them. Bring me more so we can grow. Okay, well, everyone is closing their borders to us, surprisingly enough. I don't know why, but, you know. Do they not want to be enslaved? I know, it's, like, it's weird, isn't it? I just... It's just their rightful place in society. <laughs> you know what? Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, you know, some people would agree with you. Uh, some would not. Cameron, did you leave, buddy? I think I'm going to DC him from the call just in case. Be nice. Because uh, he may have gone to go do something. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Hey, you know, we're doing the whole Lancer. We're doing our own Lancer campaign over here. <laughs> yeah, we are. Oh, man. It's great. It's perfect. All right. We need food. Which one of you guys has food on it? Yeah, you do. Uh, and we apparently need to get a couple of precincts here. Because we are hurting for more corporate locations. Oh, of course he does this. Plus 50 fucking crime. Uh, we are going to eat that fucking cartel. Oh, so man. Are, do, are, do we border the cartel right now or no? No, not at all. They are way out in the middle of the galaxy from us. 
I mean, they may have more expansion. I'd have to spy on them to find out. Um, do you want more engineering, more alloys, or more societal research? Mm, I'm hearing a lot of things about alloys, so let's get more alloy. Okay. Well, that gives us even more alloys to build later. Perfect. Uh, let's get you over there. Perfecto. There we go. Okay. This is going to be a food planet. Do we even have the... We have the... Oh, we can clear these blockers. Why wouldn't I? I didn't know I could <laughs> this entire time. Oh, that's great. Because we're dwarves. Well, we're going to clear the entire battlefield here. I didn't know we had, we, we had the cash to do that. That's perfect. Oh, man. Oh, wow. That was some good research. Thank you, game. The modified probe just gave us some pro probe recovery, and we're going to get rid of more of the hallucinogens. Oh, man. God damn it, so the in, gangs. Yes? So, so in terms of slaughtering the people to our north, uh, where are we on that? Uh, do you want to kill the Mitrans again? Actually, can we? I think our hyperspace lanes are blocked by that one dude to our north. We cannot. Yeah, we'd have to build relations with them. Oh, well, the Mitrans just got declared war on by the Urzo. So we can choose to try and make uh, uh, allies with them if you want. Um, we do have a Cassus yeah, Belli on them, so we can conquer them, because we do have a claim on one of the systems. But they are in a defensive pact with two other empires that do border us. Well, uh... one of them is right here, so they'd have, they have no way of getting through unless they're fighting the Mitran. The Urzo is already fighting the Mitran, so we would be fighting them and uh, these guys. But now would be the time to expand on them. Go or, for it. Or we go south, where we don't have to worry as much, and they only have the cartel over here. Mm, so you have some options. North. Okay, you want to go north. All right. Let me get some of our research done, and let's get some a last reinforcement real quick. And we might. And while we're waiting for this fleet to move over here, it's might as well use our claims. We're going to get as many as we can. And they are going to absolutely hate us here in a minute. We have but that's okay. We got some more research. Let's get some food coming in here because we could desperately need it. We are definitely hurting for food, but we're okay. Um, okay, that's fine. That fleet is finishing, so that's good. We'll go over here, get that. Perfect. All right. I don't know how... You know what? We're going to send a spy over here because we don't need to know how big the Mitrans are now. We know all about the Mitrans. Um, yeah, they don't like... They don't hate us as much and we are improving their relation. They are harming our relations, but they're going to stay neutral, which is fine. Because we haven't declared rivalry with them. All right. Oh, oh. Is this a, that's a frig... Oh, we got a frigate. We got a free ship. All right. We are bringing our fleets up. Do not worry. Uh, and we are ready for war. Okay, so here we go against three forces. Now, thankfully, two of them do not have direct borders with us, and they are at war with each other. So, you know, it works. Let's also get the army ready, in case we need you. Embark all, and we're going to bring you up here. Let's also get you a general... Um, army, ooh, the army damage, that's fine. That's perfect, actually, in this situation. Also, somehow, you are still ruling at 74 years old, Cook. I, hey, man, I, I got that ticker that just don't, won't stop ticking. Apparently, bro, because you're doing <laughs> real well here. Whew. All right, let's go get that. I think it's the uh, hate for my enemies that keeps me going. I, I would believe it. All right, we have taken this territory from them. Let's continue to push. Oh, and we can... Well, we would bring one of our science ship up here to take the technology, but for now, we should be all right. Now, we don't know much about these guys, but I'm going to gather some information to see what we can learn. Oh, wait, one of our scientists died. Oh, no. Um, Probably they're looking at some dangerous anomalies. Well, 
I mean, we're gonna get an extra 10% research speed, but the gentleman was the societal. He was learning how to make better food facilities. Yeah, that sounds like some corrupt government shit right there. Yeah, yeah, uh, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, all right, we need to sell some resources so we can get uh, our page, our artwork up. So let's sell some stuff. There we go. All right, perfect. We still need food. We just can't get anybody working food on these planets. Uh, what? Okay, so they got those. Jo oh, they're boosting those jobs. That's why. Okay. Well, no one's unemployed, and that's what matters here. Ooh, do we have a claim on that system? We don't. Let's grab claims on all of these. And once our science ships are done, we should be good. Uh, you should come follow them. Alright, we're pushing them back. We will have their con uh, the areas conquered here soon, so... Let's go here, bring up the army... Hopefully it's... Oh, Lord, they have two planets. Let's land our armies here. How are their armies? They have no armies. That's perfect. And there are some dwarven heretics that know about the great tree. Okay, well, we're just going to pretend the tree doesn't exist. <laughs> if we don't know about it, we can't do anything about it. Alright, we've gotten all of our fleets pushed over there. So let's head over here. What did we get? We found out about a treaty that just gave us a ton of engineering research and some more minor artifacts. Nice. Uh, you go ahead and research that. You're fine. We already have someone there. What are you doing? You have excavated that. Well, then go ahead and research that anomaly. Kill that anomaly. I'm just going to send you to research all these because we have nothing else for you to do. All right. We're, oh, they finally are bringing down a 1,400 fleet. Oh, and they're bringing two of them down. Not too bad. What did we learn about this empire? Let's find out. We learned absolutely nothing from gathering information. We'll do it again, then. All right, Cook. We have Mercantile. Uh, or do you want if you want to do a different tradition tree? We can... We get seven in total, uh, or we can do the uh, adoptive economic, which just basically lets us change our economic policy to create more trade, unity, or consumer goods, or we can do clerks give us extra trade value. Uh, clerks will give us extra trade value. Okay. You're building an interesting empire here. We are probably going to be an economic powerhouse like game. <laughs> so this is going to work out. Okay, we're going to come over here and kill these people. We don't want them attacking us, and it's easier if they're not hostile. Uh, okay. New alien species we're learning. Alright, let's go. You see, DM, during times of peace, you you learn about war tactics. During times of war, you figure out your economics. That's, that's fair. That's a fair point. And it's not like we don't have the ability to get more claims on them. Let's get some auto cannons. Alright, and let's go see what Bug Bob uh, is. The nice thing is this is going to give us a nice slave population. <laughs> Yeah. So, you know. We'd love to hear it. We're, we're going to be doing real well for that. Um, okay. Well, we've taken a system we didn't have. Oh, we did have a claim on it. Perfect. Uh, let's send back these guys to go over there and then there to get those systems. And then we should be able to pretty much push for peace. Because we don't want to eat their entire empire because then we have a lot of issues. The Xeno Empire has somehow All right. Let's uh, sell some of you and buy some of you. By the end of this war, we're going to be able to reinforce our fleet completely, though. That's going to be the great part. Okay, easy win. Let's take this other ship area. Do we still not have any flipping... Work the food, people! <laughs> Work the farms! Oh, man. Okay. Uh, let's build some housing here. You're good for jobs, and you already have alloy foundries go. So let's build more and get some more housing. All right. Oh yes, take it all. Okay, so at this point we can sue to force. Oh, we can't cheap war. Why not? Uh, oh, because of our relative navy strength. Okay, fine. We're, we're gonna. 
Come back here and rebuild our navy here. Uh, let's heal all of you. Uh, pulsating star. Um, we can get... Alright, Coke, do you want the Ministry of uh, Culture? It gives us extra culture worker jobs and more unity from uh, jobs. Uh, it will cost us 2000 so we'll have to sell some of our alloys. Um, but we can get um, the uh, Ministry of Culture. Hmm... Yeah, let's still grab the Ministry of Culture. Alright, we'll sell some alloys then. Let's pop that. Another 250, and boom, we got it. Also, let me end that episode.